BTEC Tech Award Component 3, we've been looking at the promotional mix and previously we've looked at advertising and now we're going to be investigating sales promotion. Now this is a promotion which is designed to give a short term boost to your sales. So just for a week or a month for their business to sell more, we are going to be giving people a reason to buy your product. Remember, advertising is letting people know about your product. This is, they're in the shop, they're going, oh, I'm going to buy that. So there's lots of different ways we can achieve this. And they have some good points and some bad points. Um, if we think about the first one, a money off coupon. Love a money off coupon. So it will encourage us to try a new product if we have a pound off or something like that, or encourage us not to buy a rival's product. The problem is, you've used too many, you can lose a bit of profit. You need to think how much money you should be giving off on a coupon. But it does encourage people to buy. It will tempt them to buy a new product. So that's a good thing to do. The next thing is a free sample. Again, we all love a free sample. In shops, they often have little stands handing them out. Like in Brighton, they often give out cans of drink and things at train stations. And it gives you the chance to taste it before you buy it. So you're not risking anything when you actually buy it. And it could get someone started on um, buying a product over and over again because they've had a free sample. You know, when you get on a magazine, they sometimes put like free mascaras and stuff on the front. That's a way of tempting us into new products. So if the free samples are too expensive, of course, it's not going to work, but it is a really good way of getting people to know about your product. Competitions. We like a competition, we like to win things. So when you enter a competition, you generally have to put your email or your phone number in so they can use this to use to contact you later on, which is very valuable. The prizes need to appeal to, to the target market and don't make them too expensive because if they're too expensive, then it's gonna hit on your profit, but competitions can work. Discounts, so we could have 20% off, 30% off, or another way we could have 20% extra in a packet. Discounts do encourage us. Shops often quite try to deceive us by doing this, but it makes us think we're getting a bargain. So it does encourage us. Um, loyalty incentives. So some sort of loyalty scheme. Loads of places do this. You know, like the Tesco, you have the club card. The more you spend, the more points you get. If you go to um, a coffee shop like Costa, they have an incentive scheme. The more you buy, you get a free coffee. Um, benefit eyebrows do. The more eyebrow things you get done, the more stuff you get. It's quite a common thing to keep people loyal to your business. But again, always be wary of what you're giving away free. It might not add to your profits. And the final way, a bog off. We all love a bog off. Buy one, get one free. It makes us, in the same way, money off coupons or discounts. It just makes us think we're getting a bit of a bargain. And we quite often buy things. But if you're buying one and getting one free, you are basically giving them a 50% discount. You might well be selling more. So you've always got to have your eye on your profit. So those are the one, two, three, four, five, six main ways we can give a short boost to sales, but they're all good. They're good ways of making us change our behavior. But moving on now, what type of sales promotions should you use when? Now this is called the product life cycle. Sounds complicated, really easy. We've got sales up the side, we've got time, and basically we're looking at how sales work over a time period. So first of all, small sales, short time. This is known as the introduction period. Basically, a product is new. So if you want a short term boost to sales, people really don't know about your product, give them some free samples with a discount on it. And then they've tasted it or they've looked at you know, it somehow. You can't obviously give away a free car, can you? So different things, but it will encourage people to buy it. Bog off, buy one, get one free. They might not even know what the product is, but we'll try it. A banded pack is like when you get a packet of biscuits sellotaped to a packet of tea bags and you're trying the new biscuits with the tea bags competitions can work and these are all to use to get people to come and try your product out so that's pre pretty much when a product is new the introduction stage now we're going for a growth stage now we want to get more people to buy the product so we're going to use more money off vouchers we could use more free samples on a bigger basis referring a friend 
is quite a good way of doing it. You know when they say um, that if you get a friend to use the service, they will give you a certain amount off and your friend will get a discount. This is encourages us to share the product. And it, um, that, that doesn't work for biscuits, obviously, but it does work for some services. Now, sales are high. They've pretty much flattened out. Now, this is called maturity. We want this to continue as long as possible. So we want repeat, repeat, repeat customers. So loyalty incentives to keep customers buying are a really, really good stage here. So Costa and its um, loyalty scheme works here. If we think about introduction, when Costa was brand new, they probably handed out free coffees, little coffees. They probably gave out biscuits. They probably gave out discounts. They would have given out vouchers to grow it, but now everyone knows about it. A loyalty card will keep us going. Now, finally, everything drops off in the end. Um, so towards the end of the product life cycle, this is called decline when it's going down. So people aren't that interested in it anymore. Um, if, yeah, if I was in a clothes shop, every clothes, clothing item has the end of its line. So it's not fashionable anymore. That's a little bit of building happening in the background. Um, so you just put on discounts to get rid of old stock. It's um, August now. There have been discounts during August to get rid of old swimwear because people won't be buying swimwear now. They'll be buying coats. Coats won't be discounted in that way, but discounts get rid of old stock. So different sales promotions at different times, pretty straightforward. You've experienced them all.